Cliff High School is one of the most diverse schools in Tennessee, featuring students from 30 different countries and speaking 25 different languages. And while that presents challenges, a group of students are also embodying the American dream that no matter where you come from, success is within reach. And in first place, the team of Lee, Mendoza, and Houston from Blink Cliff High School. It was a moment they didn't imagine could happen. It took us a minute to process that we had actually won first place. But a moment their teacher knew could be achieved. And I said, we're going to do it. We're going to do it right. And we're going to do it big. And they, they've done it big. Big as in first place at the statewide DECA conference, an organization that encourages leadership skills. DECA, you know, entrepreneurship, marketing, business, you got to be on top of your stuff. The winning project, a business plan for a Vietnamese fast food restaurant, highlighting the very diversity that also poses challenges for the school. We have students from all over the world, so you may have a class of about 30, and in that class, maybe 20 of those students don't speak English. And that can look grim from the outside. U.S. News and World Report found only 9% of the student body is proficient in reading, just 2% proficient in math. Their graduation rate, 63%. But on the inside... That number doesn't necessarily share or show the hard work that our students are doing every day. Hard work that's landing these winners full-ride academic scholarships at top universities this fall. I'm going to Belmont University. I'm going to Lipscomb University. I'm going to Vanderbilt University. And giving them something to be proud of as they take that plan to the next level of competition. So I'm able to go to uh, the international stage and telling people that I go to Glencliff High School and be proud of that title is one of the biggest things that I'm super excited for. It gives our kids an actual chance at life and it gives them, oh I'm sorry, it gives them an opportunity to show the world that they are just like everybody else and that they can accomplish the goals that they have and the dreams that they have. They just need a step up. Very emotional there. She has passion for what she does. The Glencliff team presented their project at the International DECA competition this past weekend in Orlando, facing off against 200 other teams from around the world. Although they didn't win the competition, everyone involved says they've already won. They sure have. Choking me up, Marius. That's <laughs> so wonderful. Well, there are